Hi everybody, it's the PC Doctor, Mike Denny in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and today I'm going to show you how to weatherproof these little Zimoto cameras that come with their DVRs. I had this one outside and I knew I had it in a place I was setting it up temporarily about two or three or four months ago. I did a little review when I bought it, but I haven't really uploaded anything since. I noticed when I, this was up on the roof of my house, uh, there was a chimney up there and I had it up on the chimney. Uh, first of all, there was a lot. It was a bad place. It was a great place as far as location and, and the view. Uh, I had a view straight down a 500-foot driveway, and I could see everything coming and going. But as far as the weather and the, and, and the elements and being exposed, and actually also there was steam coming off of a vent uh, right below the chimney, and I didn't realize that on a lower roof. And it was uh, going up in here, and it actually ended up collecting inside uh, behind the lens, uh, the front piece for the lens here, the, actually the cover for the LEDs, the infrared LEDs. So I want to show you what I did. It was really simple once I found out how easy they are to get into. First of all, for the, for ease, you might want to, uh, I'm going to take a snapshot of this here. You may want to go ahead and, and get this little cover, this weather cover off. Now it doesn't do much, uh, but it, it actually does keep it weatherproof uh, pretty much. So I'll go ahead and remove that. It comes off with just a few twists. You don't need a power drill at all. Let's get over it all. See that came off. Uh, there. There's that arrangement, and that's how that looks when it comes apart. All right. Secondly, this little cover here twists off, and it's there's no uh, real glue points or anything else. You will need a small uh, Phillips head screwdriver, about like this, uh, to get into uh, in behind the infrared uh, PC board once you get into it, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and, and break into this here. And I'll twist this off with one hand because, oh, well, I'll try. Hold on. I'll probably end up having to pause it here. Okay, I, I loosened it a little bit with two hands. I was able to get this off because I had tightened it a lot. I knew when I got it back together, I'd want to do that. So uh, go ahead and spin this off. This is, again, the cover for not only the lens. Well, actually, I'll show you. It's a front piece. And it is glass, so be careful. That has no, uh, the glass and rubber grommet built into the glass actually comes off fairly easily. It's either plastic or glass. I think it's cheap glass. And what happens is fog had gotten in behind here and uh, had definitely covered up. Yeah, the lens and the infrared lens, both you can tell, reflecting there. So what I did, there's, I mean, there's two pieces. Okay, so what I did was I cleaned this with uh, some glasses cleaner. Uh, basically, this stuff you can get from your local optometrist or one of the more expensive ones and uh, one of these little uh, little guys right here. I cleaned it, okay, and uh, I'll take a snapshot of that. Once I got done cleaning that, I noticed uh, I didn't want it to happen again. So I guess what had probably happened, and I'll... Uh, is this grommet, which is still in very good condition, had let in some uh, some of the steam, or the steam had gotten in through somewhere else, or may maybe just the temperature conditions inside it. Whatever, there was uh, moisture getting inside it. So I noticed, I remember I always use these uh, little uh, packets, moisture dry packets. You want to keep these away from your pets. But um, these beads, I've bought a bunch of them over eBay, even because I like to keep them in my toolboxes to keep things from corroding. So I want to put one of those in it. All you have to do to do that, I'm not even going to do it right now. You'll have to take my word. It's actually, you can see the paper right there to the lower left where my thumb is. Uh, I put it in behind there. There was only two screws. There were only two screws. Wow, my cat's on. There were only two screws holding the PC board in. And there's one there and one where my thumb is. Or index right there. I pulled... Once you do that, it's kind of funny because the PCB board, yeah, the PC board is only connected via a two two prong cable, two wire cable. It was really easy to disconnect and get the whole thing out to make it easy to drop that little uh, packet in there. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to reassemble this very tightly without breaking it because this is pot metal. This is what they call pot or cheap metal. You don't want to strip this these threads, so uh, you want to make sure that 
you put them together or hand tighten it as tight as you can to make sure the grommet is everything's right but that's basically the whole um, secret to doing this and in six months I'll check it and or less probably more like three and then another quarter and of course I'll be looking at the images the whole time you could easily tell when uh, the moisture was uh, gathering in it and I'll post some pictures of that later one thing I forgot to mention in my video I did not do this I'll probably end up doing it later Anyone who knows, is familiar with the Rain-X product knows how wonderful it is on your car and they make two kinds or many kinds but basically the black bottle which uh, is a defogger for the inside of your uh, car window glass. Uh, I would highly suggest somebody put that inside especially the lens cover area here on the inside of your old glass cover and on the outside use the yellow bottle the outside and it'll beat up a lot better and uh, just make for better video. Okay, I'm going to do that eventually on this. One afterthought I had was that uh, when I was telling you guys this is cheap metal uh, and that it's pot metal, I really meant it. So be careful that you don't overhand tighten this. Anybody who's familiar with working on a car will tell you if you're using a torque wrench, don't over torque something. Very important. So goes it with this. This is really cheap metal, okay? Not even by hand. Don't over tighten it. Another thing I wanted everybody to know is that on the back of my cameras, I'm sure there are better made cameras than the Zmoto ones, but uh, the back where the wire comes in at the left of this photo, it was pretty loose and not, not very secure or especially watertight around the, uh, gr the grommet that's at the back wasn't very tight around the cable. So using some liquid electrical tape, I'm sure most hobbyists know what this is, it's kind of like rubber cement, but it's really just black rubber that dries. You just brush that on. I took the grommet out. Actually, I remember it was a metal grommet, so that's why. And I, I brushed it on the cable itself and reattached the uh, metal grommet, the nut, and it, it held really water and weather tight. Thanks again for watching my video. I hope uh, what I shared with you will help you keep your outdoor DVR cameras, however cheaply made they may be, uh, more weatherproof and watertight.